Welcome to our family plot square foot garden. We, we need actually, some tomatoes in we here. We need some tomatoes in a couple of these squares. So okay. we have you to help us out with that. We so can take care of that. Let's take care of that. All right. Nighttime temperatures have to be above 50. Okay. We good? Right. I think we Daytime, good. nighttime. Daytime, nighttime. They can stunt okay. below 50 degrees. Okay. So today we're planting big boys. Okay. And I tell you what, I've got some water soluble fertilizer. Okay. Um, you can use organic. So that's if your you're own an mixture. Organic gardener, okay. All right. This is just an all purpose. All purpose. Okay. Good deal. I like to give them the fertilizer about 20 minutes before, hmm. 20, 30 minutes, okay. so that before we disturb the roots, they can take it up without any restriction okay. whatsoever or without drying out. Hmm. A lot of times you put them in the directly into the dry soil. And that dryness will start, the dirt will start to wick away the moisture on the root ends and okay. could kill the root ends. Good, that's so a good point. Give them a good drink beforehand. Good drink beforehand, all right. Um, okay, so the difference between a thin stalk on our tomato plant, mm -hmm. even in these transplants, versus a thicker stalk is how much of the stem you plant in the ground. The stem, when you bury it, will make roots all along the stem. Okay. So that's what's done when you transplant a little seedling, when they're burying it, that's making more roots and it makes a thicker stem. Huh. So when we're planting in here, we want to do the same thing. Okay. Uh, right. We're planning on planting as much of the stem without damaging too much of the foliage. Okay, how about that? So, but to bury them, so we're gonna prune off anything that we don't need on the bottom so we can bury the stem. So, so you just pinch those off. Just pinch okay. these bottom leaves off. All right. Take them on. That's an interesting here. planting technique. Okay. How did the roots so look? So yeah, good. Everything's okay. Um, we're gonna plant it up to about here. Wow. Okay. And it it's gonna make a shorter plant, yeah. but it's gonna make a stout stem. Okay. So. So we want stout stem. Stout yep. stems. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see how much you dig. Oh, this is good. Yeah. You like that? Yep. Good. You want to put it in the middle of the square? You can put it in the middle of the square. Okay. We'll loosen up the dirt. We okay. want to loosen up the dirt as much as possible right. up underneath. They say they need about the size of a five gallon bucket for their roots. And of course, the roots are going to extend up under the ground. So sure. they've got that and it's nice and loose. So it's going to loosen up a little bit to make sure the roots are lazy. <laughs> Anything we can do for them makes them grow easier. All right. Okay. Make it easy for the roots. All right, I got Let's it. Let's put the roots over here on this end. Take this little guy out of here. Okay. So do we need to... Loosen up the bottom. Loosen. Okay. And we just, they call this the trench method too. Where you just trench. drag right. a little trench. And we're gonna lay it down Break up the roots a little bit. Okay. Lay it down, and it's gonna. We're gonna turn it up, and then we're just gonna cover it here. But I'm gonna give it another drink, okay. just to make sure. Which I don't know why I'm always planting when it's dry as a bone, <laughs> and I have to use the whole gallon. Wow. But this is That's pretty good, good spring mm -hmm. dirt, wet here, so we don't have to put as much and then just cover it over. It doesn't have to be very deep at all. And then it's gonna turn up. The sun will come along right. and turn it yeah, up right. even more, but we can bend it a little bit and we're not gonna break it. Okay. I sort of make it stand up a little bit. Now, wow. when you're fertilizing tomato plants, you fertilize over the leaves because they foliar feed as well as feeding through the roots. I know when I pour the water over top of these, these are gonna end up on the ground. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna pinch off these ends. Wow. Just so my water is gonna roll off, like off a duck's back. Okay. We put some water down in the hole, straight to the roots, and then we're gonna water it in. How about that? So we're gonna water the, all the foliage. Foliage, okay. Now, it didn't drag it down because mm. we pruned it and took right. those big leaves off and it's going to make up for it soon. Now how often would you fertilize this tomato? A couple weeks. 
go by the directions, do the stronger strain, stronger strength. Okay. And which is usually about two weeks. Two weeks, okay. And it should say that on whatever fertilizer you're using. Okay. Or whether it's organic or all purpose. Okay. So you loosen it up the soil again, right? Yep. Soil is good. It's real loose. Now, do you still do the trench method in a container or in a five yes. gallon bucket? So you still and work? if you had a five gallon bucket, you would just roll this guy up and turn him up. Hmm. Okay. Roll him in a circle around the top so that he's got plenty of time to grow down in the depth of the plant. Got it. Got it. Now, sometimes, here's another one, sometimes okay. I cheat. Can't plant until <laughs> it's above 50 degrees to keep them from stunning. Okay. But let's say I wanted to get which around for us, if it's a on-time spring, talking about April 15, something like that. But if I want to get a start earlier, I get one of those uh, cheap, like flimsy, uh, like what you would buy a uh, bush or tree in like oh, a three yeah, gallon yeah. Okay. container. Right. And it doesn't have to be fancy. Okay. And I cut a big hole out of the bottom. Okay. So I can keep it inside, keep it guarded, pull it in on the cold nights when we get one here and there, yeah. and then bring it back out during the day. Smart. And then my plants start before others. Gotcha. Then when I take, and it's got a hole in the bottom, I put a piece of cardboard down, put my dirt in, put my plant in. Curled it up near the top, turned its little head up, and then as it comes, as it fills up the container or grows to the bottom, it'll go on out that hole and oh, it can make its way out of that cardboard. Okay, got it. That's how you can get a start a month or so, a okay, couple early months start. before it's time to actually oh, put them in the garden. Got it, got it, got it. But again, okay. yeah, you would still be doing the trench method. Okay. Right. So not deep, now, doesn't have to be deep. Now, doesn't have to be deep, okay. it's a shallow thing. It's shallow. Okay. So let's say this plant was this tall. We would still lay it down. I could even lay it down over here, put its root ball here, and turn its head up in the center. Hmm. Okay. But I would do the exact same thing. Okay. I think it's such an interesting technique, okay. I didn't give any, this one any water in the hole to begin with. So we're going to give it more. Now, make sure I take off. these off. And again, why are you pinching those off? Because let's hit it with the water and see what happens. Okay. Ah, good okay. demo. That was good. That's okay. not good for them. Right, gotcha. They're dirty. Okay. That's not good for them. And also, they're laying up against the dirt sure. and the sun, and I just know that kills that kills the leaves. Sure. So sure. by pinching these back. Just a little bit. They don't need those big leaves, and that leaves them up this way instead of uh, out. Okay. Does that make sense? Oh, it makes sense. Okay. Got it. Got it. So let's hit it again now that it's pruned. Okay. It's a little bit of a beat down, but it didn't lay down in the dark. It sure didn't. Yeah. And it's not going to miss it. Besides, it's going to put out roots all along that stem. So when these guys, in about, in about one month, they should be maybe about as big around as my thumb. A little uh, bit, they'll be a little bit less. Okay. If you can buy, people ask me what kind mm. of plants do you want to buy? Or, or what is a good plant when you see one? I don't care if it's tall and leggy as they say, that means to me that it's growing well. Okay. Uh, if it's all light colored, maybe it didn't have enough sun, that's not so great. You might have to harden it before you put it in the garden. Okay. But let's say it's this tall. It doesn't have any growth retardants on it. Okay. And it's sometimes some of the big box stores will spray with growth retardants to keep them yes, short and yep, compact and look pretty. So that? don't get tied up with the plant needing to look pretty. Okay. If its stem is that long, that's all roots. So by putting them in here, even if I wanted to keep it in the square, I could just lay it down in a circle and turn its head up right there. Wow, how about that? And it's still gonna have at least five gallons worth of volume area to grow down below. Okay. So. Elena, I'm gonna let you continue to do what you're doing, but we thank you so much for that demonstration. That was good. Okay. That was good. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.